Hi guys, I am back and so happy to be here. So today I thought I would do a quick getting to know me and mostly just because I wanted to do a really short piece of footage that was gonna be at ready, easy, Oh, here we go. I'm trying to make this video without having to do a lot of editing. What I'm trying to say is I have made a lot of changes to my channel as far as my camera and the editing software and the audio. So I wanna make this as simple as possible. I'm going to try to work my way through so I don't have to edit at all. We'll see how this goes. Really quickly, if you don't know who I am, my name is Nikki Moline. I am a stay-at-home mom who has taken on beauty as a hobby here at home, just a way to fit myself into the day a little bit more, pick up my makeup brush, keep myself feeling beautiful and doing it all on a budget and hopefully inspiring others to do the same as well. And if you're interested in something like that, please consider subscribing to my channel to help support my hobby and grow my group of followers. So really quickly here, I'm going to read through these questions. Again, I'm sorry if it's short, but I really just wanna make this super sweet and simple. First question, thing you cannot leave the house without. Really easy, my cell phone, money, diapers, wipes, and car keys. Favorite brand of makeup? I really like Wet n Wild. I like trying their new products. I have actually had a lot of success with quite a few of them, and if I don't, I don't feel so bad about it because they're so inexpensive. Favorite flower? I like lilac. They're like delicate, um, but robust in their own way, and I like the smell, obviously, and the um, color of them against like the green of their leaves. I really love lilac flowers. Heels or flats, I'm a simple girl. I don't really like he wearing heels very much. If I have to, I will, but I like to be able to get up and go where I wanna go without having to think about it, so I really prefer flats. Favorite colors, um, I like a nice feminine fresh pink, and then I really like a really deep emerald green as well. Do you drink energy drinks? Well, so we're going from Heels or flats to energy drinks, okay. Um, I don't like energy drinks. I've never really been a fan of them. They make me feel jittery and uncomfortable. So no, I don't do energy drinks. Do you drink juice? I drink juice. These questions though. Um, I like a good orange juice and apple juice and generally I'll drink those with um, a nice hearty breakfast or comforting breakfast like eggs and potatoes or something. Wash it down with a really crisp apple and orange juice or orange juice, and if I do, if I had a choice between the uh, a pulp or non-pulp for my orange juice, I really like a little bit of pulp in there as well. Do you eat fries with a fork? No, unless it's like a messy chili cheese fries, which I really do enjoy those. But um, no, I eat fries with my index finger and my thumb, just like a lot of other people do. Favorite moisturizer? I like these questions, they're all over the place. Um, I have a favorite moisturizer. I actually discovered this by accident, I guess. It got sent to me in my BoxyCharm, but I had wanted one, wanted some. I noticed that um, my decollete was getting dried out. By the way, this is love script. Um, but yeah, it's a decollete cream and it really works very well. It doesn't leave my neck feeling greasy or anything. It just feels like nice and moisturized. Never knew that there was such a thing just for your decollete, though I did, again, like I said, I did notice it was, my neck was getting dry. Um, but now that I know there is, I know that I'm definitely going to be ordering more of this stuff. Really have had good luck with it. And as far as like moisturizer for my hands, this stuff right here is uh, Hemp's Lotion. And the smell, I don't know if you can see it because of the glare of my light, but it's Koa Sweet Almond. It's like a sweet but warm, comforting kind of smell. I love, love, love this stuff. The formula isn't too rich. It's just like a general hand lotion. It doesn't leave your hands feeling greasy really, but it smells amazing. Do you want to get married later on in life? I am married. If I were to, if you were to ask me this, like, you know, 30 years ago when I was like 10 years old, I would say, yeah, I feel like I've always been that girl, even when I was little, that pictured a nice big wedding or being married and having a husband, that traditional life with children and a house on a hill, which I have all of that. I'm a very lucky woman to live the life I do and have this hobby and my husband who supports it. But anyway, yes, I've always been the type that wanted to get married. You get mad easily. No, 
<laughs> I feel like my husband and my children would so disagree with that. But okay, so if they were here saying, yes, you do, my rebuttal would be, yeah, but I'm quick to forgive. I feel like that would be the classic answer for like any like moms or any like children's children out there or husbands. Like, yeah, you get mad all the time. Moving on. Are you into ghost hunting? I am not. I These questions are really kind of throwing me for a loop. I have never been the type of person that appreciates that type of stuff. It scares me. I feel like some things we shouldn't mess with. I feel like it doesn't bring good energy into your space. I mean, if that's your kind of thing, you know, it's just not for me. I'm a big sissy when it comes to ghost hunting, ghost movies, any phobias. You know, actually, yeah, I do. I don't know if this is a phobia, but maggots really gross me out like nobody's business. Like, gross AF. I cannot, even if I see them on the television, it makes me feel nauseous and sick. It's like, turn the channel. Oh, I don't want to watch this. Even thinking about it, yuck. Let's move on. Do you bite your nails? I have never been a nail biter. Um, I thought it, it was, it's a very bad habit. I'm sorry for anybody that does. I'm sure you're not happy that you do it. My 15 year old, she did it. Um, and we actually got her onto some cuticle cream. Um, I don't have it up here or anything. I think it's over there by my bed, but it helped stop her from biting her nails. Um, it was just having that on her fingers just deterred her from like sticking her fingers in her mouth. So now she doesn't bite her nails anymore. Have you ever had a near-death experience? So there was this one time. My husband and I went on a walk, and there was like this industrial lawnmower that they stand on, you know, those type that was across the street doing his thing, mowing the lawn. And him and I, were about like 12 feet apart from each other, taking our walk, and we hear him hit something, and it went clink, really loud. And we're like, oh, what the hell was that? And then it's like seconds later, we hear something fly through the air and thud right on the ground. So of course we had to go over and investigate and ended up being like a big, 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 big railroad stake. Like this big around, I think the head was like that big around and that long, like huge. And you could clearly see where the blades of that lawnmower just like sliced right into it. So if that gives you an idea of the momentum, like how fast that thing was traveling through the air, if it would have hit one of us in the head or face, maybe would not have killed us, but it would have probably made us wish that we were dead. But yeah, that was a close call. Um, and do you drink coffee? Well, we have four children here at home. Um, our mornings start out at either five or six in the morning is when we're hanging our feet over the sides of our beds to start our day, my husband and I. So yeah, yeah, we definitely drink coffee here. I definitely, I have to at least take, partake in a couple cups of coffee. I don't really do more than that because it makes me like kind of like jittery. But yeah, I definitely have to have something, some sort of caffeine in the morning to get me started. But that's it for my questions. Again, sweet, simple, and short, but I just didn't want to make a lot of work for editing. I wanted this to be a, a smooth transition to see how things go. I hope you guys like the look. I'm still playing around a little bit with my backdrops. I'm not sure what I'm going to um, set in stone yet, but let me know what you think about everything. If you could, please give me a thumbs up if you're happy with how this video turned out. I will see you guys in the next one. If you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of good beauty content coming your way. Um, so until the next one, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.